G'day and welcome back to the Project 200 build series. If you fitted a suspension kit to your 200 like I have, you might have noticed that it's very difficult to get the wheel alignment back to factory specs afterwards, which leads to uneven tyre wear and can also cause some handling deficiencies on the road. The solution is to fit replacement upper control arms to the front suspension, which greatly improves the range of adjustment to allow proper wheel alignment, eliminating the tyre wear and handling issues stemming from the suspension lift. There are a few different types of UCAs available for the 200, but I've gone with a set of Super Pro arms from Fulcrum Suspensions. The big advantage of these particular arms is that they're fully adjustable and deliver plus or minus 2 degrees of camber adjustment and 4 degrees of caster adjustment. They feature polyurethane bushes with steel pivot sleeves for improved flex instead of the rubber bushes used in some of the other arms. The other big difference with these UCAs is that they use long-lasting ball joints rather than short-lived aspherical bearing joints. Please enjoy this step-by-step -step guide to installing the Super Pro upper control arms into a Land Cruiser 200. Before you start, it's worth getting the current wheel alignment settings verified for use as a reference point. Begin the installation by raising the vehicle and supporting it on chassis stands. Then remove both front wheels. Inspect the suspension system and replace any worn parts before installing the new arms. Remove the ABS wiring bracket from the factory arms. With the bottom of the spindle supported to prevent it dropping, remove the cotter pin and the nut from the factory ball joint, and withdraw the ball joint from the spindle. Remove the nut from the main bolt retaining the factory upper control arms. Then remove the bolts by pulling them out towards the front of the vehicle. It may be helpful to remove some of the plastic trims and also the batteries in order to get the bolts out and back in again afterwards. Then remove the factory upper control arms from the vehicle. As I mentioned, these arms provide for both camber and caster adjustment. Caster is the vertical angle of the steering pivot viewed from the side of the vehicle. Most vehicles run between 2 and 5 degrees of positive caster which means the axis leans backwards slightly from the vertical. Increasing positive caster can improve stability, with the trade-off being increased steering effort and load on steering components. The Cruiser runs about 2 degrees of positive caster as standard, but I'll be increasing that slightly to 3 degrees by rotating the ball joint so it moves towards the rear of the vehicle. Camber is the angle of the front wheels relative to vertical, when viewed from the front or the rear of the vehicle. If the wheels are leaning inwards, it's negative, and if they're leaning outwards, it's positive. Having incorrect camber settings can cause instability and uneven tyre wear. The Land Cruiser should run pretty close to neutral camber. With these UCAs, it's adjusted by sliding the ball joint within the slot of the arms. As a starting point for vehicles with a typical 40-50mm to lift, tighten the ball joint nut so it's sitting around the centre of the slot. Liberally apply the supplied grease to the inside of the bushes on the new arms. You can then fit the new arms to the vehicle. Note that for the purpose of making this video, I've already installed the ball joints into the arms, but you can also leave them off until the arms are fitted to the vehicle. When you're fitting the new arms, install the new supplied washers against the inside of the bushes that you've just greased and reuse the factory main bolts and the factory washers on the outsides of the arms. Don't refit the nuts to the main bolts yet. You can then install the ball joints into the spindles. Tighten the supplied castle nut to 61 newton meters, then continue to tighten slightly until you can fit the supplied cotter pin. The top nut on the arms should be tensioned to 203 newton meters and I would recommend using Loctite for additional security. These aren't nuts that you want to come loose. Refit the ABS wiring brackets and any trim pieces that you've removed before refitting the wheels and lowering the vehicle back to the ground. You can then refit the nuts to the main bolts and tension them to 185 newton meters. With the Super Pro upper control arms now fitted, Take the vehicle to a wheel aligner who's proficient in modified four-wheel drive vehicles. Let them know about the adjustable upper control arms that you've fitted and the torque settings for the top nut, in case they have to make changes to the camber or caster settings on the arms. I hope you enjoyed the installation of the Super Pro upper control arms onto the vehicle. 
It's immediately apparent just how much they improve the handling of any lifted 200, and the savings in tyre wear will quickly offset the purchase cost. As always, there's plenty more information and photos of the install on the Project 200 website. See you next time.